iOS 15.7.6 is out and released to the public on all iOS 15 supported devices that didn't get support for iOS 16. That means the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, SE 1st Gen, and iPod Touch 7th Gen. Along with this, Apple also released iPadOS 15.7.6, which is available for iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 4th Gen. So those are available, showing that Apple is still updating devices that are much older than what we currently have and what other manufacturers typically do. And so this particular update released alongside iOS 16.5 and a ton of other updates, including old Mac updates as well. So if you're on Big Sur or Monterey, there's some updates there as well. Now this came in at a fairly small 249.3 megabytes on the 6S Plus, and it's a couple hundred megabytes on all the devices here. Now, as far as what's new in this update, first, let's take a look at the build number, just so you can see what you're on. As far as the overall version, you can go to settings, go to general, then about, you can see the build number is 19 H 349. That's how you know you're on the latest software. And this particular update is a security update, just like every update for iOS 15 is going forward. The features will typically go on to the next version and then the following versions year after year, but Apple continues to care about the older phones and give them security security updates. So let's take a look at what there is. And if we go to Apple's security website, there's quite a few significant updates here. So if we scroll down, not only did Safari get updated on some devices, if we go to iOS 15.7.6, You'll see here, if we scroll down, there's a lot of different updates. Apple has updated accessibility, the Apple neural engine, core capture, and many others. Kernel, the underlying code of the operating system, metal, network extension, photos, shortcuts, telephony, TV app, WebKit, and a couple different versions of WebKit. And for the TV app, you can see here, the impact was an app may be able to read sensitive location information. To fix it, the issue was addressed with improved handling of caches. And then you can see the CVE number here. So lots of different security updates. In fact, a lot more than I would expect. And iOS 16.5 had even more than that. So a ton of different security patches here. So I would definitely recommend installing this version just for that alone. As far as how long iOS 15 will still get updates, well, that's hard to say as we don't know how long Apple's planning to support this, but sometimes they come out with older security updates if they feel they need to patch it and they have a significant user base of older devices. So iOS 15 should get updates for a while. Hopefully they'll continue to update these for quite some time since it covers the iPhone 7, 7 Plus. One thing that they're not doing that I would love to see them do is iPhone 8 is not supported. This is the iPhone 8. And for a while they were pushing out files so you could update this with iOS 15. So you'll see here, if we go to about last one, they made available for the iPhone eight plus and eight is 15.7.2 iOS 15.7.2 doesn't have the current security patches. And if you check for a software update, it's going to ask you to install iOS 16.5. This is a bit of a shame as if I want to stay on iOS 15, whether that's due to some compatibility or I just like it better, they don't allow you to do that. There are no IPSW files to actually install that. I find that to be a bit disappointing and I think Apple should continue to patch those devices and allow you to keep iOS 15. But let me know if you've installed this update already. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. And there's not much more to talk about with iOS 15.7.6. It's a small update, a security update, but many of you have asked me to continue to make these videos. So let me know if you'd like me to continue to cover them, even if they're security updates, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.